What is up guys, it is the Glitch Guy here bringing you another amazing video on how to get any car from single player to online without having to use a computer or a lag switch or even the unplugging your ethernet or router method. This is done strictly from your console with no outside help. All you have to do is watch this video and of course listen to my instructions. The first thing you want to do is go ahead and grab any car, off the, random car off the streets and head on over to Los Santos Customs. Make sure your personal vehicle is either placed inside of your garage or you've blown it up. In my case I blew it up just to save time, but nonetheless, what you want to do is take any random car, just drive over here. You don't have to be within the car, you can just be around Los Santos Customs. And what you're doing now is you're going to go ahead and press online and leave GTA online. Really quickly, what you want to do though is make sure in your options is it set to last location. If it's set to property, this will not work correctly. And of course, as you see here, it is version 1.09. Now what we are doing is we are saving our location here. Um, so when we carry out the rest of this glitch and bringing any car from single player to multiplayer, it'll save here. So what you have to do is press start. Go ahead and leave GTA Online. This is universal between PlayStation and Xbox. I will show you guys what you have to do past this step. Uh, <clears throat> but once it goes into single player, uh, try to get the car that you want to bring in ready to go. And as it slowly transitions into single player, what you're going to want to do is switch to the character that you want this glitch to work with. Now, whatever character you use last is going to be the character uh, with the car that you want to bring in. In my case, I have Michael with the car. You can do this with Franklin. You can bring in his buffalo. You can give all the options to it and whatnot ahead of time. But in my case, I decided I wanted to bring in the undercover police cop, the undercover police car with Michael. So I'll go ahead, go down to the garage, wherever it's located, and you're going to stand next to the driver's side door of that vehicle. Now, of course, um, I had a little bit of recording issue and you'll see that throughout the video sometimes. Um, but anyways, there's a really quick transition here. Nonetheless, all you have to do is stand right outside the garage or the car door, the driver's side door. And what you're going to want to do is press start and go into an invite only GT online session. Make sure you don't invite any of your friends because you're going to be leaving this GT online session anyways. Um, but if you do happen to want to bring in a friend, I will show you when and where to do that. So anyways, once you load up uh, an invite-only session, you're going to wait for that to load and do its thing. Due to the power of video editing, I am able to speed it up a little bit because it did take a little while. But nonetheless, you're going to wait for this to load up. And as you see here, it turned this in a little bit faster. And once you load up, you're going to grab any random car off the streets. This is vital right here to make sure that your personal vehicle is not on you at the time. As you can see there, I destroyed it. Because if you have it outside at the time and you plan on storing this vehicle, the glitch will not work. Uh, anyways, what you want to do is grab any random car off the street, a car that you can put into Los Santos Customs. Of course, make sure you lose the cops first, as that's pretty vital and pretty important to these steps. You're going to go ahead and drive this car into Los Santos Customs. Don't give it any options. Of course, you can uh, repair the car, and I actually did that for the video. Uh, it does not matter what options you give it. But it's basically just a waste of money. Anyways, once you have repaired the car or done whatever, you want to have, go ahead and press start. And this is the part where you have to pay attention closely. You're going to go over to the Xbox or PlayStation game store. And right as it's backing out, right as you'll see the cloud scenes where it zooms out like that, on the third cloud scene, you want to sign out of your console. And as you can see there, it pauses it. That's why you're in an invite-only session. You're going to want to sign out of the console that you are playing on. In PlayStation, it will kick you right back into single player, but in Xbox, it will make you load up story mode once again. And what you want to do from here is sign back in as it's loading. Now, it I took me a little while um, before I signed back in, but I signed back in right around here. And you're going to want to make sure you sign in before the single player sa game save loads. Of course, it's going to load up North Yankton in, in the original mission because you're not you're not logged in with your character and per each character you have on your Xbox or per each uh, account you have on your Xbox or PlayStation it will have different saves between each nonetheless once you're signed back into the account that you're trying to bring this car into online with you were just using uh, once you wait for this to load of course it's gonna say North Yankton nine years ago all that intro stuff what you're gonna want to do is press start you're gonna go ahead and go into game and you're gonna load up your save that you're just using with the car that you want to bring in. In my case, the save was right there, so I just selected it, and you let it load. Once it's loading, you can go ahead and let that load as it normally would. 
Again, it takes a little while to load these game saves. On PlayStation, it would put you right back into single player, and you basically would just follow the steps from here. So as it's doing its thing, as it's loading, what you're gonna make sure it does is get into your car that you were trying to bring in. In my case, I spawn in as Michael right here, and you run over to the car that you were trying to bring in, and that is, of course, the undercover police car in my case. It doesn't matter what car you are using, you can bring in any car you want, um, including police cars, of course. So anyways, what you want to do from here is grab that car and drive it over to the local Los Santos Customs that you just had your online player on your online character at. Of course, that if you don't know where that is on the map, you can go ahead and press start and find it and use the GPS and all that. But once you have made your way over to the Los Santos Customs, you're going to want to place the car halfway underneath the door so that the front tires are inside Los Santos Customs, but it doesn't trigger the event. If you have a car like I do, like the police car as you see here, and you can't put it into Los Santos Customs, what you want to do is grab any other random car off the street and open it up slightly, and I'll show you what I mean by this in a second. You grab a random car like this, and you would place it uh, inside of Los Santos Customs, and then you take the car that you are trying to bring in that you can't normally put into Los Santos Customs and smash it into the back of the car. And as you see here, I'll put it halfway through. This is how you're supposed to place normal cars, of course, a little bit more forward. And then once you do that, you can go ahead and grab the car that you're trying to bring in and smash it almost so that you can have it halfway through. And once, of course, you've backed up enough and smashed the car into it, like you see here, the car is halfway in and you'll be good to go. As you can see in the upper left corner, it says cop cars cannot be modified, but nonetheless, you are still bringing it into online. So now that you have it halfway through, you're going to go ahead and press online and go into another invite-only session from here. If you have a normal car like Franklin's Buffalo that you're trying to bring in, you don't have to do that extra step with the extra car. You just have to put the tires so that they're halfway in and halfway out. Make sure you don't actually go into the loading animation for Los Santos Customs. And once it loads up GTA Online, you will see that the car that you were just using is halfway in and halfway out of Los Santos Customs. If you make your way down onto a local, if you make your way down over to Los Santos Customs, excuse me, I'm talking very fast. Um, you will see that the car is hanging out of that garage and that it is waiting there for you. Unfortunately, due to the fact that my video corrupted, you will see that it has an odd transition in a little while. But nonetheless, there is the car, there is the police buffalo, or not the police buffalo, excuse me, the police undercover cruiser right there in GTA Online. And you can get into it if you, if you have a problem getting that car out, you can bring another car over and of course take that other car so that way the garage door opens. And I'll show you in a second what I mean here. Basically, what you did originally to get the car inside, you would do again to get it out. So once you have the garage door open and everything like that, you can go ahead and get into the car. As you can see here, I went to go get another car, but unfortunately the video corrupted. Anyways, that is all there is to the glitch. If it is a little bit confusing, just basically follow the video instructions, or at least what you see visually, as that is a lot easier to follow. This does not involve unplugging your router or ethernet cable, so it's really useful if you share an internet connection with a lot of people. If you enjoyed, please like the video, and if you want more, please subscribe. I'm always working on new glitches and all, all these new things, and it's, it's tons of fun. But anyways, I will see you guys next time. This has been The Glitch Guy, signing out. One thing I did want to note at the end of this video uh, is that my Twitch has been unbanned, so I may begin live streaming very soon. Hopefully I will be working on other games, not just GTA, but Battlefield 4 and all those other fun games with all my subscribers. Anyways, nonetheless, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.